1930. And it says, When he had received the drink, Jesus said, It is finished. With that, he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. You see, Jesus went through a lot of things. Many struggles in life. Jesus was tempted. He was beat. He was spit at. But he was persecuted by his own people. And yet, at any point in time, he could have said, I'm done. I'm not going to die for these people. These people are not worth the spilling of my blood. But you see, he did it. He stayed with his mission. He could have called down an army of angels. But you know what he did? He took up that cross. He died for us because he loves us. You see, he was willing to die. He had that will in his heart. You see, God requires that from us. Like it says in Luke 9, 23, Then he said to them all, Whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves and take up their cross daily and follow me. You see, no matter what struggles we go through in life, we must follow Jesus. We must follow God. We must pick up our cross no matter what the struggle is. You see, we're not the first to have our struggles, to have the same struggles that we have. And we're not the only ones that go through the same struggles as we go through every day. You see, Moses committed murder, and yet he was still able to finish his mission and keep the faith. And he was still able to take his people to the promised land. You see, King David committed adultery and murder. He oh. fell into lust, and yet he was still the yeah. king of the Holy Land. And Peter, he denied Jesus three times, and he cut off a dude's ear. Just saying. But at the end, Jesus still said, I will lay my church upon the rock of Peter. You see, in 2 Timothy 4, 7, it says, I have fought the good fight, I have finished the race, and I have kept the faith. We see that no matter what struggle we go through, like these great men, they went through many struggles also, but they still kept their faith. But you see, if we have faith in our heart, but not the will to share the gospel, then we are selfish. We are selfish because we see our schools, our friends, and our communities in bonds and chains and addictions, and we do nothing to save them. We hold the key of salvation, a key of love, and we do not break the addictions of our friends. We do not break the chains of our schools and we do not break the bonds of our communities, we are selfish. Because if we don't, if we don't share the gospel, mm. if we don't have that will in our heart, then who will? Who will take our place? Will it be our friends? Will it be our friends to preach to the nations? Will it be our friends to go out and share the gospel in their schools and in their communities? Will it be them? The ones that are trapped in addiction, the ones that are chained, will it be them? Like it says in Romans 10, 14, but how can they call on him to save them unless they believe in him? Yes. And how can they believe in him if they have never heard about him? And how can they hear about him unless someone tells them? You see, if we don't finish our mission, if we don't tell them, about Jesus and about how he died on that cross for us, how would they ever receive the calling? How would they ever be able to finish their mission? So I challenge you today to finish your mission, to go out and share the gospel in your friend with your friends, yes. in your communities, and in your schools. Yes. Yes. Thank you.